Hi, I'm Nikki Lowe, and welcome to the Wisdom for Working Mums podcast show, where I share insights and interviews that support women to combine their family, work, and life in a more successful and sustainable way. Welcome to this episode. Today, I'm sharing with you a powerful mindset shift to have more impact, but without working harder. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? But stay with me because I think you're going to love this episode. Often when my clients approach me to inquire about coaching support, they're at a crossroads in their lives. They know that they've got more to give. You know, they want to keep progressing in their careers and to have more impact, but they have no idea how to do that without sacrificing their well-being or relationships in the process. You know, how do they cope with a bigger role or a new promotion or wider scope? They're already working hard. They're already at their limits, but they don't want to walk away from their hard-earned career. They want more intellectual challenge and stimulation, but putting in more hours just isn't an option. And that's when I share with them this story. But before I share the story, I want to share why I'm telling you this story The story is a fable, but like all good fables, it has a message woven into it. And throughout human history, we've used stories to pass wisdom to one another because stories can teach us valuable lessons and stories can change the way in which we see the world. And this story relates to a mindset shift. And our mindset has such a vital role in what we think, feel and see in the world And often a mindset shift is needed to solve the seemingly impossible conundrum of progressing in our careers without working harder. And the story is about the mule and the magician. So let me take you on this story. Once upon a time, there once was a mule who lived on a farm in a village. And from The time that the mole was a cult, all he had known and seen his whole life was work. As soon as he was old enough, the mule went out to work, ploughing the fields. When the sun rose, so did the mule. He ate breakfast, he drank some water and went out to plough the fields. As the sun was setting, the mule would finish work, have something to eat and drink. He stretched his tired muscles and would go to bed. He worked hard and he didn't complain, and everyone liked the mule. Every few weeks, depending on how much work he'd done and how many acres he'd ploughed, the mule would get paid. He would get his reward, and it seemed fair. It wasn't a laugh, but it was enough to get by. And everyone liked the mule. He was a hard worker. And so this story continues. When the sun rose in the morning, so did the mule. When he got hungry, he ate. When he got thirsty, he drank. When he got tired, he rested. And once the sun set, he went home. Once he did his work, he got a reward. One day, a magician came to the village. When the sun rose, so did the magician. She'd eat her breakfast and go into the village and wave her magic wand. And everywhere she went, magic happened. She transformed things. She added value. With seeming ease, the magician created results. Since she seemed to do it with so much ease, it didn't seem like she worked hard. And when she got hungry, she ate. When she got thirsty, she drank. When she got tired, she rested. And every day, depending on the results she created, the magician would receive rewards. It seemed fair. The magician was rewarded for how much value she added. It was a lot, and it was a lot mule than the mule. And the mule was watching the magician get all this money. And was like, this isn't fair. I'm working more hours, and I've done this more consistently. It's not fair that she's getting more rewards. But she was adding more value. Which one are you? Are you rewarded for the work you do or for the results you create? Are you the mule or are you the magician? And if you could choose, which would you want to be? For many of my clients, they've built their success on being hardworking and conscientious early in their careers. This has served them really well. They've, you know, they've 
achieve great success based on that. But they've fallen into the trap of being the mule. And I know because I fell in that trap too. But when they get to a certain point in their career and a season in their lives, they realize that this isn't sustainable for them and it slows their progress in their career development. They know they can't work any more hours. In fact, some of them are returning from maternity leave and are either working less hours or compressed hours. Just one of my clients actually just a few weeks ago, she was sharing how she was worried about returning from maternity leave with her second child. With her first child, she returned full time, but with the second, she wanted to do five days in four days, so effectively compressed hours. And she shared with me how she was concerned that her colleagues would react to her being part time. Firstly, I had to remind her that she wasn't part time. She was still full time, but just different hours. And that was the first aha mindset for her. The second was supporting her to move from being to that mule to that magician mindset. She realized that her employment contract didn't specify exact hours. It had the wording along the lines of, you know, I'll assume you will work the hours it takes to complete the work. And she'd always assumed that that would mean she would have to work more hours. It had never occurred to her that if she could get her work done in less hours, then that that was equally acceptable. And this is something that I come across time and time again with my clients. When we move from the mule to the magician, that's where the magic happens. We can have more impact, but without working harder. And if you've listened to episode 100, you will have heard me interview one of my clients, Rowena. And Rowena is a global strategy director for a large FTSE 100 financial services company. She has a young daughter and she's also the flex point in her family as her partner works away the majority of the time. And when we first started working together, Rowena was feeling overwhelmed and wondering if she could continue in a career she loved whilst also showing up for her family in the way she wanted to. And as she shared in that episode, she was feeling overwhelmed and exhausted and stressed out. And over our journey working together, Rowena has stepped into the magician mindset and is continuing to add significant value in her role, so much so that she's actually been promoted and recognised by the exec team for the additional impact she's managed to have. But she's managed to do this in less physical time, and she's taking that time available to her to focus on the things that energise her and replenish her alongside that demanding role and being able to show up for her family too. When she was in that mule mindset, she thought that wasn't possible. And that's understandable because when we're feeling depleted, our mindset becomes defensive and we become disconnected from our resourcefulness. And we get stuck in that depleted, defensive and disconnected cycle. It's easy to get stuck in working as hard as possible and trusting that you will get noticed and rewarded, then getting frustrated and resentful when you don't. As the sociologist Juliet Square calls, our current contemporary climate for working mothers is the most labour intensive style of mothering the world has ever seen. A level of involvement in our children's lives is without precedent, but it's occurring at precisely the same time that women have progressed in the workplace and we're getting stuck between this ideal worker and ideal mother paradigm that you may have heard me talk about before. And it's what I found so brutal in my own journey and it's what really led me to reimagine the way that I approach work and life because I knew that my the way that I was approaching it just wasn't sustainable. I found that I only felt that I'd done a good day's work if I'd left it all on the table, given it my all. It was that kind of precedent work ethic that, you know, the sociological theory that have value is attached to hard work and that, you know, unless you're working really, really hard, a day's work isn't isn't valuable. And if you can relate to that, then you are stuck in the meal mentality as well. And a shift in mindset to the magician mindset could just be life changing. One of my podcast guests, the brilliant uh, John Gomes, talks about he makes it clear that your mindset is perhaps your most precious mental asset, potentially even more valuable than your knowledge, experience and wisdom that you've acquired over your life. Because regardless of how smart, how hardworking, how experienced you are, if your mindset isn't suited for the goals you're pursuing, then you risk failing. And I know that's what's happened to me. I was approaching my life with the mule mentality. 
And I just kept thinking, if I work harder, I'll figure this out. If I just put more effort in, it will get easier. And of course, that just led me to burn out. So what would adopting the magician's mindset look and feel like in your life? What shifts could you make to embody more of that magician? And what would you have to believe to be able to do this? My hope is that you can see the value you bring in the area of your life and step outside of that meal mindset, knowing that the impact and the results you deliver are more important than the hours you work. It doesn't make you less dependable. It doesn't make you less impactful. It actually makes you more impactful. Now, I'm not sure on the exact origins of this fable of the the mule and the magician. I do know that there's a guy called Trevor Crane who's wrote a mini book on it, and it might be worth checking out. But I hope you found these insights into the mule and the magician useful. And I really hope that as you've listened to that fable, it sparks some ideas on how you can embody the magician more in your life. Thanks so much for hanging out with me in this episode. Until next time, take care. If you've enjoyed this episode of Wisdom for Working Mums, please share it on social media and with your friends and family. I'd love to connect with you too. So if you head over to wisdomforworkingmums.co.uk, you'll find a link on how to do this. And if you love the show and really want to support it, please go to iTunes, write a review and subscribe. You'll be helping another working mum find this resource too. Thanks so much for listening.